Welcome back everybody, I'm Lars and this is Factorio, a fresh start. So um, I've moved a couple of things around here. Uh, first and foremost, we pulled these battery production things up here. The in these need sulfuric acid though, so we are going to make that over here. And uh, let's see, I actually think at the end of this line, it would be good with one of these tanks. I want to put it on the end of the line, um, just really because um, it's going to. We have the space here, really. That, that's the biggest thing. Just do this, and that should fill itself up with any like surplus stuff if everything's backed up or something. Okay. So um, also added a couple of these guys. We have like six of them now, all running the advanced oil processing thing. A lot of oil just hanging around and we could just get more so uh, we should be good here pull the waters we have a water line here and then I'm going to like just make the sulfur here but I'm going to invert the thing here a bit but I'm not quite sure how to do that in the best manner I think yeah um, we'll just add four of these as well and if we need more we'll just expand this way that's why I don't want storage on this side I want sulfur accessible to anything we make over here, and also the petroleum gas is available that way, so uh, should be easy enough. And we have sulfur here if we do need that for something. And that's going to be hard. Um, so if we connect just, um, oh, I put water in like this over here. That's probably bad. There's no reason to go under here because we can always. Like we are feeding it everything it needs from down here, except the sulfur. And wait, so could we actually just do like so, like this, right? And then we need a long-handed insert to do that. That means that this should be. Oh, is this gonna work? This big thing here. If we do this, it needs both water and the other thing. If we space this, it would be easier, but or do we want? Actually, we do want some buffers here, don't we? We probably do. Let's just uh, um, see. So we need these guys to be able to pull into this, right? Yes. I think it's going to be easier just to pull it on a separate line, though. Uh, which means we can do okay um, probably easier just to do this then you have water you have water and pull you like under over here I thought I had everything figured out this time but uh, I, w I was close but I think it's better try not to like do the fancy schmancy inverted thing and just uh, Output it straight into these guys. Well, we'll do. We'll add buffers, right? So we're gonna need you guys. If we even want buffers here. Uh, no, actually, I think this will be fine. We won't be able to walk in here, which would be bad though. Okay. Let's just uh, make sure that we have the space to do the things we want to do here. Let's do this and this. And we can then. And then we can add like power inside. Yeah, that's going to be a lot cleaner. Do this and put up the. Oh, the um, plants like this. Over here. Now we can actually walk in here as well if we have to do some business. This and this. Those should be good now. We'll have sulfur stuff here, and we can do. Well, we actually have a line here that is perfect. Okay, so we'll just do this sort of thing. Oh, we can't do that, of course. We'll have to pull this line back. Okay, let's do this line here then. Um, we can clean that up later. Just do like so. And I'm all out of pipes again. I should probably just start making a lot of these guys. Can't wait for the day when the robots actually bring these guys to us. Okay, like so. And then we'll have the... 
water line like in the middle here. And for now, I'm just going to do this. I actually will pull it f one further up, I think. I'm just going to be easier to manage, really. Like this, and you can do this right? Yeah, perfect. I want some more space in between these guys. That's the whole point. Oh, and I need to make one more of those guys. Yeah, perfect. What the hell? Like this. Damn it. Okay, so you do this. We don't want two big buffers here, though. Just say 50 in it. Can I copy that? No. Oh. That's too bad, actually. It would be kind of cool. Oh, no. Oh. Just to copy this. We have some buffers here. We could... It's not that easy to extend this, so it might not run at, like, full speed. This has access to this. And this is outputting that stuff in here, which is... Yeah, so they're making these guys now. So battery production is back up. And plastics is running like crazy right now. So that's good. So let's see. Do we get a surplus out here? We are actually running a slight surplus. Okay, so that's good. Um, actually, you know what? We'll do this. Just to make sure that we have the space to extend here. We'll go as far as we can and put down the tank out here. Could actually probably pull the tank down somewhere around here as well. Well, actually, here here's fine. This is this is just fine. We we'll just put the tank here and uh, like this. Now we can. Uh, I'll have to make a couple more of these guys, and we have because we have at least one of these guys as well. Make one more. They these takes a, like take like a lot of time to actually make, but. Uh, that's okay. We're going for structure like this. So this will, yeah. Okay, so we'll have to go in right here, two and three over here, and like this. And we had might as well do do it over here. Okay, okay. We'll have these guys over here. And this guy over there, you are going to go away now. And we'll put one more guy in here as well. Just make more batteries, please. Like all of them. I don't think, even think we need the fast ones, but who cares at this point? Sure. Okay, so that's six of these guys producing batteries, and I think. Yeah, we are still sort of just increasing in sulfuric acids, that's good. Um, I'm probably going to use this space just to convert this junk into this junk. Um, and I think we are going to make the um, stuff that needs the, um, whatchamacallit, the, um, oh man. What do they call uh, the um, lubricant over here? So we'll just put down a couple of lubricant tanks and we'll try to finish up this whole structure right now. And of course, we need more iron stuff. Thank you. I just need a bunch of these guys. I always need a bunch of those guys. So this is this production. So we'll make sure that we stay far enough away from that. Say we would need to have long handed inserters doing that stuff, grinding that stuff, and then we would need one of these guys. Let's just count. It's easier just to count. Okay, so we have one, after that, one, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine out here, right above this thing. And then we'll add a couple of blocks and we'll just put this thing down as a marker. So this is the first place we can actually start doing this. So we'll have our lubricant processing up here, I think, and then we'll just pipe it down in here. I don't want to constrain this thing though, so. Uh, 
lubricant made, made from this uh, heavy oil. So having to pipe that itself down there would be awful. And go just uh, here, I think. There's nothing else to it, is there? We just have to get the chemical plant up and running. And we only need one of those guys because they're quite efficient. So we'll just put it right down here and we'll go under this place. Right? Just right under here. Yeah. You are going to make me lubricant, right? And you need power. Um, I don't, really, don't, really don't have power that close by, but that's fine. So we can go under this whole thing, can't we? Yeah, perfect. Just bring the lubricant this way. That's pretty good. We'll have to bring it all over there, that, which is kind of a nuisance, but it'll just have to do. We're thinking big here, you know. Okay, so that's almost far enough. We'll have to make the bots clean this up. Mm, we can take him with us, can't we? We'll just temporarily take this thing and move it over like, here. And then we'll say, so you still have access to that stuff. Oh, yeah, you should have. So we'll just do this. And, oh, no, don't remove the uh, pipes, please. But remove everything else. Just go, like, out here. Oh, bit of a lag there. So you will go here and just make sure that these guys go back here. You can make more pipes in the meantime. Always have to make pipes. They're important. Having like a lot of them. Take like ten pipes for it. Okay, so they are not going to be able to go get over there. Um, okay, stop all of this junk, please. Just stop doing all that, and we'll put down a storage chest here. This is all temporary. Now they found it. Perfect. I do think I made a mistake when I didn't like make a three wide gap here for these guys, but we'll try to just jam in somewhere. Like maybe along this line here should be fine. Um, that's it. Perfect. Just uh, get rid of this now. And you guys are all in. Perfect. Probably put the these guys down at their first permanent spots. Say here. Yeah, at least this is the first permanent spot for these guys. Put down a storage chest for them, and just everybody get in there. Perfect. So now, um, we have more. Did we make more underground pipes? Did they go away? Okay. Just oh, we oh no, we did. I'm just blind. Okay, fine. We'll need to get this stuff down here, and we'll have like a line going here. I think so. We'll just uh, well, we'll see where it actually ends up. Do one more of these stretches, and then probably just go straight down, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. And we'll just go like into this line whenever we need some fast things or just anything really this and you in the corner here perfect this is not well guarded though okay i'm going to do this the simplest way possible just put down a, lot, a few of these guys and do we have the big poles we'll make the big poles just put them out like over here. Okay, and here. And uh, just make a big pole here. And yeah, sure, over here. Just to get an early warning if something bad happens. These guys um, to the left of us are almost ready to start killing us. Okay, so the first thing we need that needs lubricant is the whole engine production lines we'll we'll make that over here and we are going to need first and foremost we're going to make the engine units which just needs a bunch of iron gear wheels right 
Uh, that's pretty simple. I think we'll just do... We can just split this thing. Like, right before we merge back here, we can just split this out. Yes, I know you don't have power. I'm good with that. Just go away like this. Thank you. Do this merge back, and we can just use uh, the slower pipes or the slower transport belts right now. Probably need more iron. Yeah, always need more iron. This is wrong. This is horribly, horribly wrong. This is more like it. Okay, we'll do this and we'll pull. Oh. God damn it. I need to set up the logistics system very soon because this is driving me insane. Okay, so we'll pull a. Oh, should we really pull it here? Right next to this thing? No, we want to go one further over. We can just do this and up without any issues, I think. Like this and this. You want to have like one space between this line and everything else because then it's easier to make a turn and stuff. Okay, so we'll start out. Uh, I think we want our result down here, right? Our result is these guys. We'll make. Uh, do we want to make the bots ourselves? Um, now I'm not sure anymore. At least we need steel plates, right? We need one circuits and electronic circuits. Well, electronics with this one and electric engineers. That's where we get our thing there and batteries. Yeah, so we need to pull a lot of stuff up here. Um, let's just uh, first of all, let's just make all of these guys. Which means we are out of iron. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. Um, I'll say we'll make like two guys that make robot things, right? And we'll leave some space down there. So we'll make like, two guys, they will make robot frames. Like this and this. And you are going to need batteries and all the things. Battery steel, electronic circuits. You are going to get your. Is this a good way of doing this? That's the problem. Oh, yeah, it's probably fine. We'll um, we'll do sort of the same structure we did here because we need uh, well um, down here because we do need a lot of the same stuff everywhere. So you're going to need electronic circuit, uh, electronic circuits and steel. Okay, electronic circuits and steel. You, this guy is going to need just engine units and electronic circuits okay so electronic circuits we need to pull up and we also need to pull steel up hmm. we are going to need advanced circuits as well at some point but not just yet okay once more this is just electronic units right or uh, circuits. These are only electronic circuits as well. No advanced ones. There's no advanced ones here until we actually start making the bots themselves. Okay, yeah. So we are good. We can make those over here and use that. Okay, so we don't need that right now. That is grand. Ugh. Really? Much better. Okay, let's just get these guys up here. You are gonna be split off and we'll go up here. So, next part will be here. That's the. Well, this is the electric engine unit, so this is kind of tricky because of this line. Um, let me just remove this for now and we'll say. You guys are both gonna need this. So we'll just do this. Oh, and that's gonna cut you off totally. Well, we can use long handed inserters, I guess. Or side load, or whatever, really. This, you are going to need the engine units and electronic circuits, and that's it, really. So we'll. If, when we need more stuff here, we'll split that off. So we'll let's just go straight up here, and you are going to need these guys to be. 
Oh, we need more space. No, this is how I want to do it. Um, I just get confused sometimes. Do this. Load you here. This junk. And you will unload your resulting stuff down into these guys. Oh. And we don't have power out here, of course. We'll just do this. Oh, and you, you're just a marker, right? Well, we're done marking up everything here, so that's fine. We can just do this and move you out like this. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Have some lights. And let's see, we are running long here, but I, I just want to finish this one up. Engine units, that's easy enough. That's just the um, stuff over here. We need to load you with engine units from a thing here, but we can do that from like over here, right? Yeah. Just load straight above here, and you are going to make the engine units themselves. And they need iron gear wheels, steel plates, and pipes. So we'll just split this into like iron gear wheels and pipes. And I think maybe okay. So this is what we want to do. I think here you are going to go up here. Right. I'm going to don't go like go maybe well, this is kind of close. But you are going to need a line with these two guys and then what do you need the most? You need most of the pipes, but you also need so you need a decent amount of steel as well. So we'll put steel in here. This will be the steel line going here and then we will have the merged line from the result of uh, okay yeah this is good this is good so you can do probably over here we want this to be stackable so we'll uh, actually pull it the we don't want to put it the other way around but we want to pull it we can go around. We will go around with iron, and that should be fine. We want to do one, two, three over here. This is right, right? Yeah. We load onto this. Load onto that. And oh, we have to go one further up, like always, right? Always one more. We're getting far out here now, but I do like the sign where you just go nuts with the space because you, space is not something that's a problem really when you play on these settings. Um, I'll just do this for now. I, I don't know if this is going to be enough, but if we expand this, we need to expand this. So might as well do this right the first time. Uh, we'll go out and then down. Right, like this. And you need stuff as well. Okay. First, let's just go get the damn steel before I forget. Uh, as you might know, I'm sort of forgetful at times. Um, hmm. Need underground seas. Do we have some spitters? Yeah, we have a couple, but let's just make some more. Nope. We want to do this. And this, and then we want to go underground with this junk. Let's just move this first, and do this. Go under and up. Okay, so that's the steel figured out. We'll get steel up here. These guys will grab steel from here. Fast inserter. Oh, we don't have more of these guys, of course. Just do this and this, I think. Use these guys down here. Well, you're not quick enough really to use them, so we'll just do this. And move one piece here and. Fast inserter. Well, we're going to need a lot of fast inserters, so let's just make them. 
right away. We have fast export there. And then we'll pull, I don't want to have you here. I want to have you here, I think. This is kind of weird. Um, okay, so no more underground belts. Again, this is sort of messy. It's fine. Do like a thing here where we, oh, I really wanted to split here. Oh, you can still do that. It just ends up being ugly. Which is fine. Just do this, and then you are going to need it here. This, and probably just a thing here. You are going to make pipes. Make all the pipes. You are going to make the gears, like all the gears. And put them on that thing. You are going to grab from this thing here. Oh, oh whatever. You're going to grab from there. And I'll put down like two lasers out here just to kind of make it a bit safer. I haven't like really decided on a good strategy for uh, base defenses yet, so uh, I'm going to just wing it for a while before we actually get the bots up and running and we can set up something more permanent. You are making, right? Have speed module, please. You are making, well, <laughs> soon. You'll be making soon. And you are going to make and you will have speed modules. We need two more. Okay, so the thing here now is that we're just going to need a whole lot of these bots, right? Or these guys. God damn it. Always need more of this. Do this now. Um, speed modules are done. We'll wait for the speed modules, actually. Just do this instead. Um, speed modules. These take a while. And I don't like waiting really do not enjoy waiting, like especially like this. Just, uh, you're gonna keep making me wait, aren't you? Just do this and this and this instead. That's probably one more than we need. Okay, so we'll do this and... Actually we could pull straight from this line if we wanted to. We'll do a splitter thing though. Um, Actually, we are going to need this as well. I don't want us to do a complete split here, though, so we'll just do like offset it by one. And you are going to make me um, construction bots. You are going to make the logistics bots and put them into chests here. These normal chests um, for now. And then we'll, we'll we can actually just do passive provided chests. And I want to always have like 50 of each in my inventory. So they will fly them to me, and I could just place more if I need to. So, um, this, and uh, you are going to place... Oh, it's not connected to a network, of course. That's that's fine. We'll just, uh, for now... Oh, crap. No, a bit quick there. Uh, for now, just uh, with this, we have like 50 in storage, and we'll fix that later, like I will remember. And we'll just pull straight from the damn line here because I'm, I don't care anymore. And one more, please. And pull straight from this. And we can probably just do this. Hmm. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Just go. We're going to pull into these guys. That's good. And you'll get the flying robot frames. You need steel. Right, that's the thing. You need steel. I really forgot that. And electronic circuits. That's why we wanted to merge this. And batteries. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, man. How forgetful. Okay, well, let's just remove all this then. Um, oh, yeah, I said we we're going to make them further down the line. That's why I needed. Okay, yeah, right, 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 right. Of course, of course. Um, okay, so you need. Um, electronic circuits and steel, right? So we wanted to merge that into one line and then put batteries up here. Okay, right, right. 
Uh, let's just do this for now and just figure this out. So you are going to need steel here. I actually want to do like here. And more of these guys and more of the underground guys. You're going to want to do, have these guys as well. This is going to get messy quickly. Uh, let's just do this instead. Put you down like here. Then split off the steel here. And we'll have to go batteries up here and then right. Okay, that's fine. So you are going to need that stuff, yes. This is the line we want to end up with, right? And then batteries here. We really just want to go... Well, this won't be too bad. We can just do this. And then split you here. Go like this. So that should keep pulling the steel through like this. Just go this and this and this. There we have our steel line. And then we'll go grab this. I know we're way, way over the limit here or the normal time limit. I said I was going to try to keep um, these episodes shorter, but the uh, keyword here is try, I guess. It's kind of hard when you get into this funk, and I don't want to stop right now. That would be just horrible. Too hard. And we'll do splitter here. And just get a line of batteries oh, up here. I think they're able to pull from corners with this, right? Yeah, they're able to pull from corners. That's fine. Uh, where do we output this? Oh, I didn't think of that. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, Lord. Um, we have to pull this down, don't we? Um, I think I'll just... Uh, hmm. I think I'm just going to do that stuff, or this stuff off, cam off camera. Just figure this out, and I'll show you in the next episode, because we're running way too long here. So, um, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.